hi guys welcome back to your channel technical sahil in today's video we are going to see how we can install cpanel and whm on alma linux 8 when i uploaded the third video of my hosting business playlist on this channel we had set up the hosting business on centos 7 and we saw that the official support for cpanel on centos 7 with its latest version has now been discontinued and we had to make some tweaks to install the cpanel whm on that centos 7 server but since uh, that video some viewers have asked me whether we can uh, use another operating system like rocky linux or alma linux which is fully compatible with it, with the whm and cpanel uh, if yes then please make a video on installing cpanel whm on it so today's video is based on all those requests so let's start installing uh, cpanel whm on alma linux without any further delay friends uh, i am deploying a server from DigitalOcean where i can get a direct option to install anything from the marketplace uh, between these available options without writing any command on the server but however i have recommended Recom uh, contabo in many of my videos and i assume many of you might be uh, using a server where there is no marketplace functionality uh, available and if it is then those providers might charge you extra if uh, you ask them to install anything on your server so the agenda of this video is no matter where you get your server from you can independently install cpanel through command line by yourself and for that uh, you will need to follow this guide which link i will provide you in the description of this video and quickly uh, let me deploy a server and let's learn how to install cpanel whm through the command line interface i am selecting new york location uh, data center one i am selecting alma linux uh, 8 you can also try on this uh, droplet uh, 2 GB, 70 GB is enough. Even this is enough, but I am selecting, I am going with these specifications to uh, which helps me when I run the command so it will execute a lot, a lot more faster and it saves time to shorten this video. So I am selecting this uh, $24 machine. Password I need to create. Uh, let's see what they are suggesting. Yes, the password is okay. Uh, let me copy it in a safer place because we need it in the future. Uh, here I am defining any name like server dot technical sahil dot com and click this uh, create droplet. If you are using the digital ocean also The server has been provisioned and we have got your uh, we have got our IP. Uh, let me click on this. That droplet has been created. Now I just need to copy the IP from here. Either I can use the console a window of digital ocean, but again I am assuming that I am using this platform. Maybe you are on somewhere else. So it's good if we use a SSH client which is available for everyone. Uh, which is putty i am assuming this is very common software i use it almost in my every video where i need to demonstrate uh, by installing something on our server so but again if this software has been not installed on your pc then please find the download link uh, of this software also in the description of this video and please install it uh, i have copied the ip here username is root and the password uh, this one 
so we have logged in into our alma linux 8 uh, server now first we need to update and upgrade the system packages The pre-installed packages has been updated and upgraded. Now we need to install Apache Web Server using this command. And now we need to restart this Apache Server through this command. Now we need to update the DNF package manager. And we need to install the firewall D. Now the firewall D has been also installed. Now we first need to start then enable this firewall D. It's also important to check the status uh, after installing, starting and enabling the firewall D because it is important to run in the background while installing the uh, cPanel and WHM through cURL command. Yes, it's running. Now we can define our ports, which is important for the uh, cPanel protocol. these five ports we need to open it's for the whm and it's for the c panel and it's for i guess for the maria db Now again we need to restart the firewall D because we have enabled some ports. Now we need to run this command. And we need to install the PHP. with its uh, packages now we need to enable php fpm
again restart the apache now please install perl by running this command Now we are done with all the dependencies uh, which is the prerequisites to install uh, cPanel WHM uh, on this Elma Linux. Now it's time to run this command to get the latest sh file and now it's time to install this latest file on our server. Now this will take some time uh, until then I am fast forwarding this video. The cPanel WHM has been uh, successfully installed on our server. Now we need to uh, copy this URL. Open a new tab in your browser and open this URL. Click on advanced because this is a we are going through IP so it's a SSL warning. Uh, root and the password is this. Click login. Now we need to uh, check this. I have read and agreed to all the legal documents listed above. You can read if you want, otherwise, click to continue. Now we need to get a free uh, 15 days trial. So click on this login to cPanel store. We need to create an account and it's asking for the email address. Uh, let me open temp mail. and use this email create an account it says it has sent me a yes that's my validation link i need to click this uh, url
it's asking for the password which i am providing the same password and click reset password now click allow access here Our trial has been activated. Now we need to click the server setup. Here I need to provide the email. Uh, what was the temp email? I forgot. Okay, you can provide any email. And here I am uh, providing my own name servers, which is ns1.technicalsahil.com. These are my default name servers, which I need to define. And after that, click finish. So as you can see the trial has been activated and the cPanel with its latest version has been successfully installed on Alma Linux 8.9.0. So that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching.